Back on our show and joined this morning by Richard Holloway, the Ranger at Fort Randolph and Bulow. They have a big event that's coming up tomorrow. And uh, Richard, welcome. Well, thank you very much. Good to have you back. Glad to, glad to be here. What's going to be happening at the Fort's? Well, tomorrow? we are having a, a, a foodie fest. A foodie uh, fest. Yes, indeed. And <laughs> can't it's go a, wrong with a foodie fest. You, you, you sure can't can. beat that, and it's all going to be cooked uh, uh, on Dutch ovens. Yeah. Uh, we have 13 different groups coming from all over the state and from Texas. And uh, we're, our youngest cooker is actually going to be eight years old. Wow. You're kidding. And he's going to be out there cooking in a Dutch oven. And you can not believe the things that you can cook desserts, you can cook breakfast foods, you can put biscuits on the lid. I mean, the whole nine yards. You can cook everything with a Dutch oven, and these people are experts. And luckily, state parks was smart enough to enter into agreement with them. And <laughs> so they go to different state parks, and they start these programs. And this is going to be the first one. And they're going to, the local group's going to stay and come every month. Right. And, and cook for us. And, you know, other than paying, if you're 13 to 61, you, you pay the entrance fee of $4. If you're older and younger than that, it's free. And the food is free. Oh, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. It's a good that. deal. Well, not only the food, but just Fort Randolph is a beautiful place. That, that's a destination in itself in Central Absolutely Louisiana. beautiful place. And, and uh, 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 we are blessed to be the second uh, highest uh, visitation in state historic sites in the state mm -hmm. at Fort Randolph. Well, it's gorgeous. A lot of school groups come through? Uh, lots and lots of school groups, and, and mm -hmm. from all over the state, too. So, Well, back to the Dutch oven cooking. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's it like? Well, it, just imagine uh, you've, you've got a, a field, and you're, you're next to this wonderful river, the Red right. River, and, and you're walking along, and, and they've got, like, just multiple groups all around you, and they're, they're, they've got a campfire going, mm -hmm. and they're, they're, uh, they're cooking, uh, uh, like, some... Uh, blueberry cobbler oh, or, gosh, or, they're, yeah. or they're over there cooking some chili or, or something like that and, and they're cooking biscuits on top of the lid because mm -hmm. that takes the heat as well too hmm. and and you know they invite you in and say come try this and, you know because they're all proud of their personal food so right. uh, I think it's a, a wonderful uh, culinary delight it really is what can we expect to eat tomorrow? Uh, the full spectrum of any type of food you can think of. Uh -huh. uh, vegetables, Cajun cooking, uh, 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 Texas chili, um, uh, any type of uh, uh, roast, anything like that, they're going to be cooking it, you know, and it's, of course, desserts. I mean, they're yeah. going to have lots of nice desserts. Can't forget about desserts, Cindy. No, no, no. <laughs> and did you mention blueberry cobbler earlier? Yes, earlier? indeed, I did. Uh -huh. Yeah, and, and just all kinds of things like that. There's just so many... Things. And these people, just, that's what they do is they travel mm -hmm. around the state and cook. And, 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 it's wow. not a bad gig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you painted such a vivid picture of what we can experience tomorrow. I'm, I'm thinking that's something that we have to see. I, I, I would think so. Wow. I, I think y'all need to come out and, and taste some of this stuff. And then if you don't leave with a satisfied look on your face, then, then something's wrong. So maybe when we start our cookouts, this is something we need to incorporate, the black iron. I, I believe so. Okay. What time does it all start? It starts at 9 o'clock, and it okay. goes to about 2. And they'll be, they'll be coming in early and having it ready by 9. And so, okay. yeah. As far as the historical st site uh, this summer, Richard, what's going to be going on? Well, uh, next weekend we actually have a wonderful uh, Louisiana timeline. And right. what that is is Louisiana history from all eras is going to be represented out there. We're going to have some... Vietnam soldiers out there with a, with a, a weapons carrier. We're going to have uh, Spanish Royal Artillery from the colonial era. But it's not just that. It's civilian stuff, too. So mm -hmm. we'll have French fur trappers out there. Just all kinds of uh, demonstrations. Uh, it's really wonderful. That's another must-go to event. Yes, ma'am, it is. <laughs> and that is all day Saturday. All right, Richard, thanks for coming by. Again, the Dutch Oven Cooking. Yes, indeed. Nine to, nine, nine to, nine nine to two nine tomorrow. Nine. And it's, again, remind people where the, the site's located. Uh, Forts Bulow and Randolph is 135 Riverfront Street. And if you go underneath the Jackson Street Bridge, mm -hmm. once you cross into Pineville, go underneath the bridge, and it's seven-tenths of a mile. Easy to find, very easy to find. Richard, thanks for coming by. Good to have you. Thank you all. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank Good you. Good day, Sinlaw. Yes, Gonna indeed. wrap things up in just a second.